Hey guys, in this video I will be unboxing and installing the Wham Bam system to my 3D printer, the CR10S Pro. Um, I hope you enjoy the video um, and find it informative. It's the Wham Bam flexible system. I mean, there's a little bit of damage right here, right here, and right here. That's probably from shipping. But the thing is, it comes from China and it takes about two weeks to get here in the United States. And that's the one thing that I don't like about this is that if you're paying about a hundred bucks, they should have some inventory in the United States, you know? This is pretty on glued on pretty tight but as you see it's 310 by 320 so this is the actual packaging which survived the trip and there is no damage on the inner package it's pretty much packed pretty nicely Again, the 310 by 320. And we have a set of instructions with some stickers. You have the plate, basically you have the plate, the surface, and the magnetic base. And I'll be installing this in my CR Tennis Pro 3D printer. And it does also come with a steel wool and a couple of uh, shims, stickers, two stickers, a couple of instructions, which is a uh, pretty much is straightforward you know you just don't want any air air gaps so there's some of this out of the way probably not gonna need these I have some isopropyl alcohol. And I'm going to use some of that. So I should clean the surface. And this is the PEX.
I'm just going to peel the back. And peel it back a little bit and then I'm going to align it. And then you're going to just slowly start peeling it. In the back and When you're done, you can peel off the uh, top film. Like so. And then the steel wool. You can go ahead and scuff up the top.
Okay, so I don't lose them. I'm gonna put it together. I mean, if you want, you can actually just uh, put the screws back in and then just lock the nut. And then just remove the uh, clips. But since they go together, I'm just going to put them together and store them together. So basically this is what came out, the aluminum plate, as well as these four clips. This is my straight edge. This is like an aluminum uh, ruler that I have and it's perfectly straight. What you can do is actually, if you want, just go ahead and and run it across. So basically you can run it across and see if this bed is actually level. So if there's any gaps between the bed and the ruler, you may be, um, you may want to actually put the shim, peel, peel the back, you know, see like so it peels so if there's a gap over here you run it across and if there's a gap uh, you may want to put the shim stick the shim right there so it covers the gap so making the bed more level but since mine is pretty much straight I don't need it I'm gonna get some isopropyl alcohol with my rag And I'm just going to clean the surface. I'm going to let it dry up a little bit. And this is the magnetic base. Wait, is that backwards? Should it be like this? Or like this? No, I think it's supposed to be like this, right? From the four, yeah, from the front. Well, it really doesn't matter. Just go ahead and peel the, uh, the adhesive from the top about an inch. And then you want to uh, align it. And then you want to start peeling the back and then smoothing out the uh, adhesive. Basically, it. I think this is uh, actually um, thicker than the actual system. So I'm going to go to the leveling. The thickness of the uh, actual aluminum bed that was on the um, the CR10 itself is actually thicker than the wham-bam system. So there's a shrinkage 
of the height so there's a little bit of a gap as you can see so what I'm gonna have to do is lower the the actual um, the nozzle to where it meets the um, the 0.2 millimeter uh, thickness gauge and the way I'm going to do that is you see this light right here this lid on that means it detects the bed and this this screw right here is the height adjustment of the sensor level so I want that to match up see how it turns off so I'm turning this really slowly trying to fine tune it and adjust it to the point where this light turns on exact is supposed to turn on exactly at the moment where this um, it detects the bed the actual way you'll know that this is uh, this meter is actually level because it's really not as sensitive as you want it to be is when you actually go ahead and press the home button click the home button again and then just check where the nozzle lies that's actually too too uh, close to the bed there's absolutely no gap so I'm gonna have to reduce it again a little pressure and then and you feel that little bit of resistance so let me zoom back in okay it's per almost it's like perfectly um, level not level but um, the gap between the thickness gauge and the bed and the nozzle you can feel very slight resistance and I'm moving it back and forth so I can feel it if you have any questions please leave a comment below and I'll try to answer them please go ahead and like this video and subscribe thanks